Hello everyone, in this video we are going to perform agglomerative clustering with mixed data. So far we have discussed clustering with data on numerical variables. We will now extend the analysis with data consisting of both numerical and categorical variables. And when data set contains both, then it's referred to as a mixed data. Mixed data are quite often of interest in business applications. A firm may want to cluster the salary and age of the customers, but also a firm may want to cluster gender and race as well. In order to measure the distance between two observations with mixed data, the distance measure that is commonly used is Gower's coefficient, which is proposed by John C. Gower. Gower's coefficient computes the distance for each variable converts it into a 0-1 scale and calculates a weighted average of the scale distance as a measure of similarity between two observations. So first we are going to upload the data and we are going to use subscribers data for this example. Let's set this working directory where the data is. And then next let's type it here. Upload data and my data is equal to read.csv and the data set is subscribers.csv control enter so now you can see the data set under environments pane let's take a look at the data set so this data set is collected by a national phone carrier and this data set contains salary data of subscribers gender equals to 1 for male and 0 otherwise, married, if married, 1, 0 otherwise, college, completed a college degree, 1, 0 otherwise, and city, lives in a city, 1, 0 otherwise. So we need to install packages here. We will install cluster package, but if you have already installed the package cluster, you don't need to do this stage i'm just going to type it here install packages and in the parentheses and quotation mark cluster and to activate this package you need to type library cluster and then control enter when you look at the data set here you realize that the first column contains the mobile subscriber identification numbers and this column is not going to be used in the cluster analysis Therefore, when we select the data, we need to ignore the first column and we use the DAISY function to determine similarity among observations and label the results as D. So D is equal to DAISY and the parentheses. Now we need to select the data, my data, all rows, but two to six columns are going to be included. And then we need to use a metric to specify the distance calculation. And you know, distance calculations are Euclidean, Manhattan, and so on, but we will use here Gauche. Metric is equal to Gauche. And then control enter. And if you enter here D again and control enter, you'll find out that here 1 and 2, observations 1 and 2, has a dissimilarity measure of 2.2774, and that continues. So here what we do is we calculate, we standardize. Here what we do is we standardize the data and calculate this similarity measure. And the next step is to perform the clustering and we use the Agnes function. So agglomerative clustering and let's call my results this is the variable or value that we store our results that is equal to Agnes in the parentheses D and for method we will use word and then control enter so in order to see the results you type here my results and then control enter so when you check the results, the coefficient here is important. It is more than 0 0.75, so that means we have natural clusters in this data set. 
and to visualize the results in a dendrogram, let's type it here, dendrogram, we are going to use plot function and here we plot here my results and then control enter. So as you see on console pane, you have prompts to follow. Hit return to see next plot. So click here and then hit return and then hit one more time. You will see the dendrogram under plots pane. And when you look at this dendrogram, it is, I think, a good idea to cluster this data set into four main clusters. One cluster is here, second one is here, third one is here, and the fourth one is here. So we use cut tree function. Now here, let's type clusters, and we use the cut tree function, and let's call each cluster is my clusters is equal to cut tree, and then we are going to use my results and k is equal to 4 and then control enter so now we have four clusters here and now we want to actually get these clusters append to my main data set therefore here let's type append clusters and then the command is my data is my original data frame data.frame and my data and we are going to append my clusters and control enter now when we look at my data you'll see there's a new column called my clusters and in order to get summary statistics we use summary function but here let's see summary stats and let's get summary statistics for all clusters so subset my data and the cluster that I'm looking for is my clusters equals equals one so this is going to give us the summary statistics of cluster one and then control enter so as you see the statistics are on the console pane you can copy paste this line for the remaining clusters and you need to change my clusters here to 2 and here to 3 and here to 4. Let's get the summary statistics for all and then for 3 and then for 4. Now let's try to analyze the summary statistics. So you can see all summary statistics from all clusters on under console pane. So based on these results, we can make the following observations about each of the four clusters. All subscribers in cluster one are married males, most of whom live in a city. Only about 40% of them completed a college degree. All subscribers in cluster two, they are not married, did not complete a college degree about 40 percent of these subscribers are male most subscribers in this group live outside a city for cluster 3 they are married females who did not complete a college degree most of them live in a city for cluster 4 all completed a college degree and on average earned the highest salary among the four groups they tend to be unmarried and most of them are female.